Field Piece Instruments makes tools and test equipment specifically designed for the HVAC technician to make his job easier, better, and faster. This video will show you the key features of our core products, the HS36 Digital Multimeter and the HVAC Guide System Analyzer. Hi, this is Russ Hardy. We're on the top of Field Piece Instruments today. I'm going to show you how to do a superheat test with the HVAC Guide. So behind me, I have a package unit with R22. It's a fixed restriction system. I have all of my sensors hooked up. They're ready to go and they're ready to do a superheat test. So basically, how the HVAC guide works is you select a test on the dial. So I'm going to select superheat. That brings you to the superheat input form on the screen. What, what we're basically going to do is go step by step and fill this screen out uh, using all of our accessory heads. So the first thing I'm going to do is select our refrigerant. So I'm going to press enter to get to the list of refrigerants just to show you what, we, what refrigerants we do have available. But I'm going to go ahead and select R22 because we're in the R22 system. Now the next thing on the test is the outdoor dry bulb. So I'm going to go over to my dual temperature head, attach that to the HVAC guide and turn it on. Then I'm going to press enter to start taking that measurement. And you can see that it puts a 68, 67 degree temperature for my outdoor dry bulb. That's pretty stable, so I'm going to press enter to lock it in. The next step is the return wet bulb. I have my wet bulb thermocouple hooked up over here. So all I have to do is attach this head, turn it on, and press enter to start taking the measurement. And you can see that I have a 56 degree wet bulb. So I'm going to make sure that's stable. Looks like it's pretty stable. And I press enter to lock that in. Now I got to go back to the condenser side of the system and get my suction line pressure and suction line temperature. So I get those two measurements with the ASX-14. This is our superheat and subcooling head. So I'm just going to attach that on, go up to pressure, press enter on the HVAC guide to start taking my pressure, and you see that I have a 65 PSI as my pressure. So what I'm going to do is press enter to lock that in, then suction line temperature. I can use the same head. I'm going to go up and put up to temperature. Now down here below, we have the pipe clamp attached to the suction line. We also have the, the refrigerant cord going directly to the ASX-14 here. So on the suction line temperature, I'm just going to press enter to start taking the temperature. You see that I have a 55.8 degree suction line temperature. It looks pretty stable. I'm going to press enter to lock that in. Now the last line on the HVAC guide is the customer ID. The test can be saved out of the HVAC guide and downloaded and downloaded to a computer and you actually can hand that report back to your customer to validate your work. So now that we've entered everything on the input form, we want to view the results on the output form. So we're just going to look at it and press output to get the results. So you can see here that my target superheat was 11.9. That is based off the outdoor dry bulb and the, and the return wet bulb. And my actual superheat was 17.6, and that's based on the suction line pressure and suction line temperature. It gives us a reference uh, number on the vapor, vap, uh, vapor saturation temperature, which is 38.3. Then it actually gives me an explanation of the, what's going on with the test. Now this is pretty cool because what you can do is actually show your customer going, uh, the, show your customer the instrument that it tells you what's wrong with the system. So in this case, the system is actual superheat is above the target superheat, which indicates an undercharge. Add refrigerant until the actual superheat matches the target. So basically, we have the HVAC guy telling us what to do. We can validate our work, hand it back to our customer, tell them that we do have to add refrigerant and then he's going to understand that we're, why we're charging him for a refrigerant. You can take the, after we're done adding refrigerant, we can take a retest and have a before and after. And that's basically how the HVAC guide works for all four of the tests that are on the dial. And we just did superheat with the HVAC guide.